Hello everybody, welcome to my office hour. This is Dr. Carolina Kupertetzel from The Learning Scientists. Today I would like to talk a little bit about an active teaching approach um, that is called concept tests. It's an approach that was developed by Eric Mazur, a physics professor at Harvard. And what he wanted to accomplish is he wanted to get his students more engaged during his lectures and at the same time promote and increase their understanding of the material. So how does it work? So it all starts really with a multiple choice question. So the teacher would pose a question to the entire class and the question would come with four different alternatives of which one would be the correct one. Um, you can do this in a color-coded way and then have students raise a, a card, lift the card that they think um, identifies the correct answer um, of the multiple choice question. And then in the second step, they would look for someone in the room, a peer, who would have selected um, a different option than, um, than they, themselves. So for example, if I select the yellow option and the person next to me the blue option, we would engage in a discussion about our options and try to convince, convince the other one why our option is the correct one and why the other one is the wrong one. So this would be like this in, engaged discussion that is going on. And after this has happened, everyone would retake the multiple choice question. So again, the same four options, the same question, and the entire class again indicates with their um, color cards which, and which answer I think is the correct one. And what studies show is there will be a converging to the correct answer after the second step, after they have discussed and have the uh, opportunity to discuss um, the options with their peers and then have the, um, the chance to, to retake that multiple choice question. Now this is really, really great. Um, and then what you could see as well is how knowledge developed um, between the first time you asked a question and the second one and if you are confident and are comfortable with um, the outcome of the second time they take the question, so enough people, uh, the majority of people in the room have gotten the correct answer, you can go and, um, and continue uh, to, to the next material, to the next topic. If you see that there are still lots of misconceptions in the classroom, um, you can do a short revision and review session of the material, for example. Or if you see that there are single people um, that um, are still on the wrong path, you could provide them uh, with uh, additional information, let's say, after class. So one question you could ask is, how do I get a good, how do I create a good multiple choice question to begin with? Because those questions need to be hard questions. They cannot be simple fact questions with isolated um, facts that are easy to identify or easy to uh, come up with, a, with an answer to. So one suggestion would be to do a two-step uh, kind of a thing. So in the first step, um, maybe the week before, you would ask your students an open-ended question about the topic and they would generate um, answers in their own words. And then you would look at their answers and look at the misconceptions that are there and you would take those and use them as distractors when you create the multiple choice questions. I think this is really great to do this two-step thing because what really happens is when you come up with a multiple choice question this will be a very hard one for students to, to answer and then they could get the most out of the discussion with their peer. Um, I came across um, this approach only very recently when I visited the Jakarta Intercultural School in Indonesia, where one of his teachers, um, Eric Anderson, he uses this approach for all of his classes. And he says that people are, students are more engaged during classroom discussions um, and they get, um, get a, a good understanding of the topics and he can track that, um, this understanding over time. So I think it's a great way to, um, to engage students and to foster learning. So um, I hope this was helpful and let me know how um, you implement this uh, strategy. Thank you very much.